It's cats and dogs that are really nice. Always, always protect you against the virus. The virus the 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 there is a lot of misinformation and confusion out there right now. Let's cut through the noise. Here are some important facts. Sometimes antibody tests can generate information that's wrong. We call these results false positive or false negative. Both a false positive and a false negative are real possibilities we need to take into account for any test. But such results also give us an understanding of a test's accuracy rates around sensitivity and specificity. Here's where it gets a little complicated. The result of the antibody test, previously infected, true positive, or not previously infected, true negative, must be determined in the larger clinical context, along with the test sensitivity and specificity rates. We also need to account for the chance that you have been previously infected, regardless of the test's result. This is the prevalence. If the underlying chance that you are infected is high, then a positive test result is more likely to be right and indicate previous infection. On the other hand, if the underlying chance that you are infected is really low, then a positive test result might very well just be a false positive. Now that we've thought through how good a test is, we next need to understand how useful it is for making decisions. Even if we used a test with excellent sensitivity and specificity to determine with certainty that you have been infected, we still would not know with certainty whether you are immune to the virus, because we do not yet know enough about the relationship between positive test results and immune protection. This is also why we need medical laboratory specialists. These specialists help us pick the right tests, implement them conscientiously, and help to interpret the test results with the limitations of specificity, sensitivity, and prevalence in mind. It matters which test you use, and it matters who interprets a test. All of this can be useful information for your doctor, but it is not yet definitive enough to be used on its own to guide your important life decisions, like going back to work, or going out to a restaurant. A positive antibody test does not mean you are immune. We simply don't know this yet. Even more important, it also does not mean that you cannot spread the virus to others. That's why it's so hard to make decisions based on antibody testing alone. <laughs>